Mm -hmm. Hi, Mom. I'm home. Chris, uh, just the person I wanted to see. Come sit down. I got some news to tell you. News? What do you need to tell me? Just have a seat and I'll tell you. Uh, okay. There's some juice. Thanks. But what's the big news that you wanted to share with me? Well, you know that job I've been applying for? Yeah? Well, I got it. Mom, that's great. Thank you. So I'll be able to work less hours, but make more money and stay with you more often. That's great, Mom. I'm really happy for you. Yes, but there's a catch. A catch? What do you mean? We might have to move. Move? As in, move out of our house? Yes, honey. We're, we're going to be... We'll have to move to California. California? Mom, that's on the other side of the country. I know, honey, but there's no way around it. Can't you turn the offer down? I don't care if you work all the time. Thanks a lot. I didn't mean it like that, Mom. It's just I don't want to move. My friend Lexi and I are becoming so close. How am I going to tell her that we're moving? Honey, I know this is hard for you. Hard? It's beyond hard. Do you have any idea how long it took me to make friends here when I moved here? And now I have to go through that all over again when we moved to California? Honey, this isn't easy for me either. Then turn down the job. I can't. It's a big opportunity for me. Can't I have something that makes me happy? Are you trying to guilt me into letting us do this because it's working? Maybe. But if I finally find something that makes me happy, can't you just accept it? Can I at least go to my room? Sure. When are we leaving? As soon as I can find a house in California, we'll be leaving. How long will that take? I don't know, as long as necessary. I'm going to my room. Look, it's going to be fine, Krista. It really is. I don't think so. Krista. Beep, 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 beep. Mmm. 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 Hello? Hey, Lex, it's Krista. Hey, what's wrong? You sound upset. I need you to come over. There's something I gotta talk to you about. Can't you tell me over the phone? We just saw each other. I know, Lexi, but I think it's better if I told you in person. Okay. Um, I'll be over in a few minutes. Okay, hurry. I will. Okay, bye. Krista, can we talk? Mom, I really don't want to talk right now. Well, we need to talk. What is it? Did you find a house already? No, that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Well, then what is it? I know this is hard on you, moving and everything, but I want to but I want to tell you how proud I am that you're taking it like a good sport. Who says I'm happy about it? I'm not. And how can you think I'm being a good sport about it? Just trying to make you feel better. Well, it's not working because no matter what happens, we're going to be moving. And I don't want to move. I don't want to leave my friends behind. It took me a long time to make friends and now you're taking that all away from me. Krissa. I am not taking anything away from you. You could still visit your friends. Yeah, if I fly in an airplane, which you'll never let me do alone. You could always email your friends. You could always write to them. You know perfectly well that's not the same. You were young once, weren't you? Oh, I forgot. They didn't have internet or computers back when you were younger. 
stop it. Okay? Just stop. I know you're upset, but you don't have to insult me. Sorry. Look, I just invited Lexi over to break the news to her. So if you don't mind, I'd like a little privacy. I understand. Let me know if you need anything, okay? <sighs> oh, this house is too small. Why can't I find a decent house? Hi, Molly. Oh, hi, Lexi. How are you? I'm fine, but I'm concerned about Krista. She started upset over the phone. Do you know what's going on? I do, but I think you'd feel better if Krista told you. Did somebody die? No, no one died. Just go to Krista's room and she'll tell you. Okay. I'll, need, I'll be in here if you guys need anything. Okay, thanks, Molly. Okay, back to house hunting. Nope, too big. Come in. Hey. Hey, Lexi. So what was the big emergency that I had to come all the way down here? Well, I have something to tell you. What? <sighs> like, there's no easy way to say this, but what, Krista? What? <sighs> Mom just told me that we're moving. You're moving? Where? Anywhere nearby? No. We're moving to California. What? That's on the other side of the country. I know. And I don't want to move at all. Believe me, I don't. But this is the way it has to be. I'm sorry. It's not up to me to move. Why are you moving in the first place? My mom got the job she wanted. She didn't even tell me she was applying for a job that involved us moving 3,000 miles away from here. Krista, I can't believe you're moving. When are you moving? As soon as my mom finds a house in California. Well, when I walked in, it seemed like she wasn't getting any luck. So maybe, maybe you won't have to move after all. I don't know. Don't get your hopes up, Lexi. I'm really sorry, but this is how it has to be. I'll miss you when you move. And I'll miss you too, and I'll miss all my friends when I move. I just don't know how I'm going to tell everybody. Don't worry, I'll tell them. So you don't have to go through this by yourself. Thanks, Lexi. You're a really good friend. I just feel so upset that we're moving. I don't want to move. I know you don't. I don't either. Come in. Hi, Krista. Hi, Mom. Hi, Lexi. Hi, Molly. Uh, Krista, I need to talk to you. I think we've talked enough. We're moving. I know you don't have to keep reminding me. No, just listen to me. I called the boss of the place that I would be working at. I told him I didn't want the job. What? Why not? It's not because of me, is it? Well, that's part of it, but it's not your fault that I decided not to. It's just, I don't want to move either. I gave it a lot of thought, and we'd be giving up a lot if we moved to California. So we're not moving? We're not moving. We're staying right here. Oh, Mom, thank you so much. But are you sure this is what you want? I mean, I don't want to stop you from having a good career, I already have a good career. I have my job and I have you. That's enough for me. Thanks, Mom. I really appreciate it. Besides, it was hard finding a house in California. I knew there was a catch. Yes, well, if you guys want, I could take you us all out to ice cream in a few minutes. We'll be there in a minute. Oh my gosh, Chris, isn't it great you're not moving after all? Yeah, it's great. What's wrong? Nothing. 
I just feel so guilty. I know mom did this for me. Yeah, but that's how, that just shows how much she cares about you. I guess. Hey, come on, be happy. Well, you're not moving. So, we can still hang out and everything. And you can hang out with your other friends, too. Yeah, I guess that's really cool. I'm glad I'm not moving. You don't seem happy. Did you want to move? No, of course not. I just feel bad for my mom that she had to give up her dream job in order to make me happy. It'll pass. Come on, let's go out for ice cream. Okay. Coming. Man. Hi, honey. Ready for lights out? Yeah, I guess. Honey, is there something wrong? Mom, you didn't turn down the job just because of me. Because I was such a bad sport about moving, are you? No. The truth is, is that they replaced me with someone else. Why? They wanted somebody who didn't have to move and who didn't want to have to go through the struggles of moving. They wanted someone to stall right away. Why didn't you tell me that in the first place? I don't know, I guess I was just too embarrassed to. I can understand that. Okay, but don't tell anybody, okay? I won't. Okay. Get in bed, okay? Okay. In a way, I'm glad this happened. We don't have to go through the struggling of packing or anything. I'm sorry I didn't get it though, Mom. It's okay, honey. I'm kind of glad we, I didn't. I wasn't crazy about the idea of moving either. Okay. Good night. Good night, Mom. Love you. Love you too.